I'm Ryan Girardi with Auto Conversion, and our guest today is Eric Wood, uh, who created the Otter app for Android uh, to help reduce the temptation of texting and driving after his three-year-old daughter was nearly run over by a car when the driver was texting. In a split second in that Queen Anne Alley, Eric Wood saw his daughter's life flash before his eyes. She came about this far away. I looked up and I saw the driver was had both thumbs on a keyboard and she was texting away. That's when Wood decided something had to be done to stop it. So he developed an app called the One Touch Text Response, Otter for short. So Eric and I met through uh, LinkedIn, uh, I believe it was LinkedIn, correct? That's right. And yeah. I've gotten to know and be a user of the Otter application, which Eric has uh, come out with, I think, earlier this year. That's right? correct. We, we came out on uh, Android um, in April, and uh, it's, we've met with a lot of uh, success from just parents emailing me, um, teen groups getting behind us. Uh, I really couldn't, really, Ryan, if I had, if in, in January of uh, 2010, if I had said, this is how I'd like it to go, and this is the response I'm hoping for, uh, I couldn't have scripted it. Uh, it's been pretty overwhelming to have uh, a national teen driving safety group within three months of our product coming out, endorsing us, and basically uh, campaigning for us. Um, insurance companies uh, coming behind us and, and featuring us on their website, saying, here's a tool that you can use to, to stop this, uh, this distraction. Um, so it's, it's been a great response. We're due out on BlackBerry uh, this month, and by the end of the year we'll be on uh, Nokia's uh, Ovi store, which uh, actually puts us into the worldwide arena, not only the United States more strongly as Nokia re-enters that market in a big way, but uh, worldwide also. And, and this is a worldwide problem. We need to acknowledge that it's it's not just a US problem uh, I think some of the the first uh, anti texting and driving videos actually came out of England and Australia and so it, it's it's something that if we're going to be taken seriously on the text and drive scene as far as a software solution a simple one I think we need to address the problem on a macro level worldwide um, but not from a big brother uh, standpoint, sort of a shackle approach, which a lot of, we can talk about some of the other software out there later, but uh, we're, our approach is to be a tool and not a shackle, to actually work from within the texting culture and, uh, and provide a, a solution that uh, the user adopts. And, and one of the biggest uh, ways that we are aiming to do this is by having implications or applications, if you will, outside of the the text and drive arena. Now it sounds like I'm going the opposite direction with this, but um, if we provided a really intuitive, uh, sophisticated text and uh, auto reply uh, functionality that has customizable responses um, and so forth, and, and you can put as many as you want in your phone, it can be used at home, um, in the office, and we we've seen teens texting um, using that are you know texting and driving. Their parents are really concerned. They buy Otter. They start using the auto reply functionality with a timer to schedule their own texting blackout periods, if you will. And what this does is it 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 becomes a valuable tool to them, to the user group, to the end user, which is where real change is going to happen on this issue. So we think a a, a teen or a business person who sees their productivity increase by scheduling an auto reply with Otter in the office, that user is going to be much more likely to use the highway safety features that are GPS based that Otter also provides. So weaving our way into the texting culture and affecting change from the inside out is, in my opinion, going to be the most effective way not to grab headlines necessarily and say, look at what uh, this lockdown thing does, we can provide statistics of, you know, from our mainframe this. But my question is, is, is the end user using it? I think we need to recognize that this culture is not, it's not a fad. Um, it's not going away, it's growing. And if we can acknowledge that there are benefits to texting uh, in terms of efficiency, in terms of fundraising, and countless other things that I could name, that there are benefits to it, but we just can't combine it with driving then I think that's a more workable approach that will truly bring results um, to our roads. Well, I'm really on board with what you have to share. 
And uh, I, I definitely appreciate you taking the time to uh, sit with me today and, and talk about this very important issue. Uh, and um, <coughs> for those listening, uh, the Otter app, uh, the website is o- otterapp.com, O-T-T-E-R-A-P-P.com. And it is presently available on the any and- on Android market, and it'll be on BlackBerry uh, this month, you said, correct? That's correct, okay. yes. Um, and... Uh, you know, stay tuned and uh, know that Eric blogs about um, a lot of this information and, and the statistics and situations on his blog. And uh, we'll continue to update, uh, update the world through, through the blog and his other initiatives. Right on.